Hello, my new and returning viewers. How are you all doing today? Hope you are all doing well. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall be glad and rejoice in it. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. This is, the, this is living life with a sore, the grandma. To my returning subscribers, I say a big thank you. Please continue to share my videos. If you have not yet subscribed, please do share, comment, and like the video. Let me put out a disclaimer here. What we will be discussing today is for educational purposes only and my own experience. And it is not meant to treat or diagnose anybody. Always consult with your doctor for your health issues. Do not stop taking your medication without your doctor's knowledge. I will be telling you how I was able to reduce my blood glucose A1C to the upper 5% and to encourage you that you can do the same if you have elevated blood sugar or blood glucose. I am still a work in progress. My goal is to lower it further to the 4 percentage. So what is blood glucose A1C? The A1C is a test that measures the amount of sugar that clings to a protein called hemoglobin in your red blood cells in your blood. The test shows your average blood sugar levels over the past few months, usually two to three months. A normal A1C level is below 5.7%. A level of 5.7 to 6.4 indicates pre-diabetes and a level of 6.5 or more indicates diabetes. Within the 5.7 to 6.7 pre-diabetes range, the higher your A1C, the greater of your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. For a diabetic, the goal is to, look, to be lower than 7%. Right now, there are many test studies and recipes out there that can help you lower your blood glucose and subsequently lower your A1C. So research into them to find a suitable one for, for yourself. It's easier for a pre-diabetic to reverse it than for a diabetic that has been on insulin and other medications. And if you have a normal blood glucose range, then you will want to maintain it so that you don't have uh, other complications. But both the pre-diabetic and the diabetic can reverse it if they are determined to using diet. If you stop eating or doing what you are supposed to do, like the type of foods you should be eating without medication, your high blood sugar will come right back. So in actual sense, you are not really reversing diabetes, but managing your blood sugar using diet. You can manage it with low carb foods till the end of your life without having to take medication that have other uh, side effects other than you may be taking some supplements as well. It takes discipline and determination to do this. So focus on the end result. That will encourage you. You have to monitor your blood glucose with a glucometer before and after every meal. The lower your blood glucose, the lower your A1C will be. There are different brands of glucometer out there where you have to prick your finger and measure your blood uh, glucose. And then there are trendy ones now that um, like a desk on, that you don't need to prick your finger. All you do is uh, attach the sensor to your skin, your, to your upper arm here, and measure the blood glucose with a reader. I am not advertising any product here. There are four things you need to do to lower your blood glucose. One 
a local diet. Two, portion control of your foods. Three, restricting the time that you eat. And four, exercise. I personally, I am doing these four things now. And my fasting blood sugar has reduced. A low carb diet with portion control and not eating past 7 p.m. and exercise like taking walks does the magic. And I also take some supplements, which I will tell you in another video. What I did was to journal the foods that I and drinks that I ate for one month and take the readings of my blood sugar before and after eating each meal. That gave me an idea of the foods that will and will not spike my blood sugar. And you can also go back to the journal for, for a reminder. Then I looked at the ones that, I did away with the ones that spiked my blood sugar and then like bread, pasta, rice, processed meats, cake, donuts, fries, potatoes, etc. And then the ones that did not spike my blood sugar, like vegetables, uh, salads, I started reducing portion, the portion I ate to see how much change the blood sugar will be. I decided that for every meal I eat, my total carbs will not be more than 40 grams. Salads and vegetables are a good low carb uh, food, but you have to be mindful of the add-ons like salad dressing or some fruits. I just blend uh, olive oil with garlic and lemon and use it as my dressing. But there are a lot of low carb uh, salad dressings also in the market. I eat twice daily, brunch and lunch and dinner. I take my coffee or tea at 11 a.m., lunch at 2 p.m., and dinner at 6.30 to 7 p.m. The day I don't take coffee or tea, I eat brunch at 11.30 a.m. This regimen has also helped me lose some weight, and I drink a lot of water during the day. This is a difficult task, especially if uh, you have been used to eating fast foods or uh, heavy African uh, foods, you will have to substitute these foods for a lower carb one. For example, as a Nigerian, we, we love uh, our pandemia, eba or amala with soups, obono or ebusi. All I do, I just substitute the eba for uh, cauliflower fufu or cabbage fufu, which has a very reduced uh, uh, carb content. I will show you how I make my cauliflower or cabbage fufu in my subsequent uh, video. As we talk of foods, we also talk of beverages and drinks. A lot of beverages have a high carb content, like beer, sodas, juices, my go-to drink most of the time is uh, one tablespoon of apple cider uh, vinegar in a glass of water with two drops of organic stevia liquid. This has been known to help regulate blood sugar. So always read food labels per serving at the back of the packet or your bottle. Some has more than one serving per label. In case, in that case. You multiply the carb number by the number of servings for the packet or bottle. I use net carbs in my calculation of my carbs. From the label, this is total carbs in grams minus the total fiber in grams. And uh, I also follow two channels on YouTube that has uh, been very educational and inspirational to me. Beat diabetes and sugar md so you can check them up so if you are pre-diabetic or a diabetic i encourage you to look into your carb diet just lowering your glucose by some points 
has a long-term effect on your health. And it will give you to make, to live longer. If you have any questions or comments, please write it in the comment section below. And I will reply you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video till the end. And I hope you all have enjoyed it. Stay blessed and I will see you in my next video. Bye from Grandma Esohe. God bless you. Bye-bye.